We monsieur, we are out in Quebec and I have got two friends with me. It's really slippy out here. I'm with my friends Gabo from Ecuador and Ola from Germany. Guys, we've just we've been here for about a day now, but I don't really know what I'm doing yet. So I think why not take you guys around with me and not know what you're doing either. So this is gonna be vibes, it's blue skies. It's a day in the life of Quebec. So first start, Ola's been asked his height. How tall are you, uh, Ola? Uh, just six nine. Just six much. nine. <laughs> guys, I feel so small. And Gabo is, is a bit shorter than me, so he feels even... <laughs> He's an Ecuadorian Oompa Loompa. <laughs> That's <laughs> Basically, Oompa. <laughs> He's blending in with the snow today as well. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful oh, you know day though. Because we are ready, let's go to the lower yeah. sea. Lower sea? Yeah. Okay. Because you've never We're going to go to the lower sea. So enjoy the vibes. Gabo has stayed in Quebec. Well, how long have we stayed in the French parts? For four months now. Four months. And then I used to live in Montreal for a year and a half. Okay, and so Gabo's Gabo's gonna teach us some French expressions today. Yeah. So, so, so if you want to say, let's go. Yeah. Say on y va or vas-y, allez-y. On, on y va. On y va. On y va. I'm gonna be Please saying say, that. Let's go. Let's go. That's like vamos. Vamos. Yeah. <laughs> Aviva! Wait, how do you pronounce it again? Oniva. 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 We just walked into on, a metro store like as well. On, and then the Y and then Ba. So Oniva. Oniva. But all together. Okay. We're, we're in a metro at the minute. Yeah. You guys probably never been in a metro before. This is what it looks like. Like the supermarkets in Quebec. It's a supermarket in Quebec. There's a lot of metros in Canada in general. But this is kind of what the place. I mean, guys, let's be honest, it's just a supermarket. But some of the selection, you know, you'll see stuff that you've never seen before. You know, if you're used to seeing, I don't know what juices you're used to seeing. Definitely not these though. It's crazy. But yeah, we're gonna grab a couple things. I think Ola wants to get some food. Cause this guy's six nine, yeah, he needs to eat a lot. So <laughs> we're gonna get some food and, and see where the day takes us. currently walking around Quebec City. All the pictures that you've ever seen is the old Quebec. So this is kind of where the, the real locals come to. So Gabo's brought us here because he says, this is really what Quebec's like. You know, you can walk around the tourist parts where you've got all the food, the drinks, you know, come in here, it's warm, it's cozy. But nah, this is, this is the real oh, Quebec. Shit, <laughs> it's the real stuff. So it's beautiful around here. Obviously you're seeing the snow. And if you can't see every time I'm talking, it's, it's a like nine degrees. Oh, with a minus. <laughs> so and it feels like even less. It feels like even less. So it's really cold. We've got multiple layers on. But when you're walking around, you just forget how cold it is because of how beautiful the city is. Now guys, we're walking around here, yeah? and Gabo has just said to me, what does this mean on here? Yeah? It's a dead end. We call it the sack in French. I use that in England. You guys must, if you're from England, you've used that term. And it turns out the whole time has been a French term. I can't believe it. Call the sack. How did you have to have a pronunciation on it though, Gabo? Uh, I do pronounce like that. Like yeah, yeah, sack. just call the sack. Okay, cool, cool de sac. Yeah. Crazy.
because it was really bright and we was walking around sunny and now I've got my light on and it's pitch black. Well, me and Gabo, we came back because, look, when you've got a team, right, that you support back at home, there's no way I'm missing them play. So we've come and we're watching them. I am going to go and get some food after this, but look, you just can't miss a game no matter where you are in the world. A few moments later. Okay, so after watching that game and uh, losing, I'm just going to forget about it. So guys, yeah, we're back out in Quebec and Gabo is taking us to... Uh, in English, it will be like the warehouse, but here in Quebec, they call it Le Bureau La Poste. I'm not even going to try and really <laughs> pronounce that, but we're going to the warehouse. Now, this place is mainly known for bars, nightlife, but they sell cheap food, man. And in Quebec, it is expensive, especially in the old Quebec. So this place is selling burgers for $10, which is outrageous prices. Really. Amazing, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go there. It's about a 15 minute walk. So enjoy the vibes. Apart from maybe that fire engine that's flying past. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's get it. Hey, hey, look. Check how we moving with the vision in mind. I'm low side with my on the vision with slime. Okay, so we just got in here and when the ladies come over, okay, we're in Quebec City. This is French, French, French. They come over and they start saying something French. I don't know what they're saying. I mean Gabo, he's done a bit of he's done a bit of traveling, he knows a bit of French now. <laughs> I've got no idea. I'm just smiling at her and just nodding my head. She goes, You're English, aren't you? I was like, yeah, I, I am, that's true. But they have got an English menu in here. Um, it's looking like some great food. This place is more about uh, buying drinks, so the drinks are more expensive, that's why the food's so cheap, but I'm not gonna complain, I'm trying to get some cheap food, so if that's what they're offering me. And it's gonna be the burger, so I ain't gonna do too much talking, let's see when this food comes out. <laughs> Mine's right, better than yours, man. <laughs> the food's arrived. So, champignon burger. Is it champignon but that's the poulet though. So it's that's a filet. So it's always going to Look, be there. I've got a stick. He's got a fat knife. Because they know that I'm Pablo Escobar. <laughs> Are you going to go for it? Yeah, you go for it. Bon see This lady's looking after us. <laughs> okay, well, no, no, he's like to start with a chip. Go for it. Mm. Okay. It's like typical French fry. They're skinny, they're crispy. It's like McDonald's chips, but better. Because every, everything's better than McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really know. Oh, there's a ketchup there. I don't really know yeah, if I should just... For it. I'm just going to go for it, guys. Do you want to go for it first? Go on, go we'll get your impressions. Go. No, but it's like, I eat the hamburger later. Though. You eat the hamburger later, okay. Because the fries get cold and it's like, that's not I can't eat it. I can't eat the hamburger later. I gotta eat this hamburger for you guys, so. Okay, this is looking like a monster. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. Cheers. Really good chicken. Ooh, it's a little bit spicy. A little bit spicy, you got a spicy one as well. Yeah, that's tasty. I'm gonna dive into this. Gabo said he likes to save it till the end. That's the way he does it. We'll ask him how it is after. And the burgers were demolished. I think we need to start off with Gabo's experience with this burger because we didn't get it. So do you want to explain to us, please? What? The hamburger? Yes, the hamburger that you just had. It was had. an amazing one. It was like with the champignons <laughs> and I don't know what else. <laughs> oh no, it's the Swiss cheese, champignons. Swiss cheese. Yep. Uh, it was amazing. <laughs> he had one bite and he looked at me and said, you've got to try this. <laughs> he gave it to me. Oh. So you can tell that he enjoyed his burger. Yeah, always. Always and just enjoy food. It's cheap, good, good cheap. price. <laughs> yeah. Good a location. It is like literally in one of the main streets here in Quebec City. So he's a local now. He's been in a few months. Yeah. So Gabo is gonna keep showing us around cool places. Like, so stay tuned for that. Tonitua. That's to say. It's to say. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. This was just uh, pure vibes going around Quebec. I have so much great content coming for the next two weeks. So just wait on it. Me. But as always, show some love. It's been your boy Binksy, and I catch you in the Binks. next one. Bye bye. Big blessings. All right.
Please, I'm finna dish him a dime. I feel my pocket vibrating. That's your on the line. Check how I'm living with the vision in mind. I'm low side.